the centroid of a triangle. Now the centroid, again, is the point of concurrency of the three medians of a triangle, three medians of a triangle. And so first we're gonna talk about what is the median of a triangle. Well, the median of a triangle is, well, first let's just draw a triangle here, we see it with this one, there's no like pre-drawn thing. The median of a triangle, again, let's call it A, B, C. And the median of a triangle is connecting um, the midpoint of one side, okay, let's do a different color, the midpoint of a side length, so roughly here's the midpoint, to its opposite vertice, opposite vertice. So this point, midpoint here is connected to the opposite vertice. I'm going to connect it across. Okay, we have a connection here. Okay, and then um, we're going to do that all the way around. So we have another midpoint here. I'm going to again connect it to its opposite vertice. Voila. And then this last midpoint here. And it's connected to its opposite vertice, okay? And right here, this point connecting that midpoint to its opposite vertice is called the centroid of the triangle, centroid of the triangle. Um, again, for acute, obtuse, and a right triangle, the centroid will always, always, always be inside of the triangle. It can never be outside of the triangle, okay? That's one thing that's always good to note. And the centroid, what's interesting with the centroid is called the balance point of the triangle. So if I were to make a three-dimensional model of this triangle, I out of a piece of wood um, that was evenly weighted across, when I would find the centroid of that triangle, it'd be the perfect balance point. I can take my pencil or marker uh, underneath it and balance it right at that one spot. So you can always make a fun little Christmas ornament out of that where you draw a triangle, basically decorate it, and you can put a string through it and it'll balance on your Christmas tree. Um, go for it. Um, now there's a few properties about this centroid itself, the point of concurrency here um, of the three medians of a triangle. and that is the length itself. So if I put some, I'll just pick one of them here. Um, we have point C, and let's call this uh, D, and let's call this point F here. Let's call this centroid point F, right here in the middle. And what you'll notice is that the length, the length of DC, okay, that length of DC, that overall length, if you times that by two thirds. So again, this DC is referring to the length of DC. That is the length of FC. Okay, so the length of DC is going to be times by two thirds is the length of FC. FC is two thirds length of the total overall length of DC, which then you also can say that DF is equal to one third the length of DC as well. And you can do that all the way uh, across uh, with the, the segment here and this one here. Um, all three uh, medians will all meet the point of concurrency, and these will all be. Um, two thirds or one third of the overall length there. So, like, you can some people to write as two thirds here and one third is a little quick little note for yourself. That length here again, this one will be two thirds and this one will be one third, and this one two thirds of the overall length and this one one third. And again, the two thirds portion will always be the portion that connects from the vertice to the centroid itself. That is always going to be the bigger length. Always, always, always going to be be the bigger length. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind when you're doing these little calculations. But again, here's the proper notation of it. Um, the length of DC, that overall length, there's no bar up top, I'm referring to length. Okay, I times that by two thirds, I get FC. And with this little equation here, um, some people like to, you can, again, rewrite this equation. So DC is equal to, well, three halves the length of FC. And you multiply this by three halves on both sides, and you get it there, okay? Um, hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching.